Hey guys, Maxwell here. I have an unboxing video for you guys. It's a Toshiba laptop C650D02U laptop, uh, satellite laptop. It's um, one to replace my Acer. The uh, Acer was getting a little bit old. This one here I got uh, on a bit of a bargain. Uh, was kind of uh, open box uh, special. It was a open box uh, special. Okay, basically um, this laptop was an open box uh, special. It uh, retails for um, right around about the 549 mark. Um, it has a Windows 7 operating system and uh, it's a V140 processor, uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 320 gigabytes for the hard drive. And it's got a nice uh, 15 by 6 uh, screen size. Now, uh, being it was an open box special, I was able to pick it up for less than uh, what they were asking. And the reason why is if you look right down in here, it's missing the uh, I key. There's not really a whole lot wrong with this laptop. I've already had it fired up. Um, it's virtually new condition. Um, and like I said, um, Windows 7 operating system, uh, Toshiba laptop, um, Okay guys, now it says warning. When the recovery is executed, all data will be deleted and rewritten, rewritten. And if you are restoring this from a backup, did you make sure that the backup is important? All important data configures the window the way you want it to be restored. And it says please connect the AC adapter. So, next one says, select operating system. Please select the operating system to recover. So, we want Windows 7 English. And hit next. Product recovery menu. Please select one type of OS operating system to continue. Select Windows 7 64 bit version. An HDD recovery option. Please select one option to continue. 
Keep recovery image for all language in the HDD recovery portion. And next screen says recovery of factory default software. Start the recovery of factory default software. All partitions will be deleted and you will lose all data on your hard drive. Are you sure you want to continue? Press next to start recovery. And it says recovering a factory default software initializing partition. Please wait. So basically I did a bit of research on the internet. Um, my deal I picked up on the computer here was okay. Um, like I said before, it was like a $599 or $549 or so laptop. Um, I guess uh, when it was returned to the store, the factory uh, passwords and stuff wouldn't took off it. So that's why I'm doing this, to get everything back to the factory settings. Pretty much the factory out of box setting. I did a bit of research on the uh, computer and I came across a way to uh, reset the factory settings. Um, especially when you don't have the, uh, the disk and stuff to do the resets. Okay, and then the next screen it goes to is recovery of default software. And then it just goes to a uh, time lapse and time remaining. So we got about 11 minutes and uh, or so, 12 minutes remaining. Okay, then after that screen it goes to another one that looks very similar, but it says now creating CRC file.
Okay, so it took a roughly about nine minutes to go through that screen. Okay, so it took about nine minutes to go through that screen. And now it moves to the next one. Again, it's the same um, looking screen. The recovery of uh, factory default software. Initializing uh, partition, please wait. Okay, and then after that one it goes to recovery complete. Please press finish to restart the computer. So you click on finish. It shuts off. Restarts. Starting Windows. And recovery of factory default software, kind of the same uh, similar screen as before. Looks like she uh, restarts again. Setup is initializing uh, device two percent, three percent. Goes to another screen. Please wait. Configuring system. Finishing the installation may take several minutes. Please do not interrupt or shut down the computer. Of course, uh, during all of this, it does consume quite a bit of power. So make sure it's plugged in. Last thing you want to do is run out of power, you know, halfway through this or uh, have an uh, issue.
Okay guys, so basically it's gone through a setup step of 1 through 40. Um, you know, setting up different programs, stuff like that, that's on the computer. Uh, that process took, uh, I think it was about an hour to do. And then it comes to the screen here where it asks you to set your, um, your country or uh, region. And uh, I'm in Canada. And if you choose English Canada, then um, I believe you end up with uh, the multilingual. Um, so what you do, if you choose English Canada, you end up with the multilingual uh, keyboard. So you choose the English uh, US. <coughs> and then you hit next. And then it asks you for a uh, username. And I'm going to set uh, this one up to be Maxwell Graham. So it says to uh, type a password. And then it also, which is nice, it uh, asks you for a password uh, hint. So if you ever forget your password, you can um, give you a hint to remember. And then it asks you, you know, the normal uh, licensing and all that uh, stuff. After you've read this, you check the little boxes and then hit next. And then it um, help protect the computer and improve Windows automatically. Use recommended settings. And you want to set up uh, the time. And then it finalizes all your uh, settings. And we're just setting up the antivirus. Um, it's a Norton. And I just got a 30 day of protection Norton trial on here right now. Um, I gotta pick up a Norton. Uh, antivirus for my other uh, other system and then after that uh, she's all installed you just go down here and click on done and uh, she's good to go Okay, so pretty much guys, the whole uh, reboot, restart, uh, restore the factory settings, took about an hour and a half, um, took a little longer than um, the Acer I did with the Windows Vista, but um, to click on uh, internet, you click, you choose a, um, the nearest uh, connection you'd like to use. Most uh, connections are password protected. 
And then after you've entered in your uh, passcode, go down and uh, click on OK. And then it connects to your uh, internet. And we'll just go up to Google here. And we'll just Google the YouTubes. And then we'll just go over to my account. pretty much there you go guys that has been a complete uh, restart reboot uh, restore to factory settings of a Toshiba C6 uh, 50D uh, 02U satellite uh, laptop I um, Basically, this whole process took about an hour and a half, right from uh, start to finish. Um, if you ever run into this problem, I'd recommend you taking it down to a uh, computer technician because uh, it's very technical. Uh, you don't want to have any issues. Um, if you do attempt to do this at home, take your time. Make sure you leave plenty of time to do it in. Um, as I said during the video, make sure it's plugged in because it uses plenty of power doing all this. Um, I don't uh, recommend you guys doing this, but um, in this case I had to because it was uh, it had a password on it from the previous uh, owner. I uh, thank you guys for watching Maxwell's World. As always, uh, comment, uh, subscribe, and enjoy. Thank you.